Hello, I'm David Neese, the Vice President of Engineering at Grady White Boats, and today I'm going to talk to you about a beast of a boat the Canyon 306. And I call it a beast of a boat because if you go to your dealership, see this boat and test drive this boat, you'll come away talking about a beast, about a brawny boat, a big boat, a tough boat. And that's what the Canyon 306 is. At 30 feet 6 inches long, 10 feet 7 wide, it is big and brawny. And it's loaded with features that we'll go through. I have to say at the beginning of this thing as we talk, basic flotation, the boat will not sink, CV2 hull, the best ride on the water, self bailing throughout. You will not need a macerator pump anywhere in this boat, whether it's with your fish box or your live well or your coolers anywhere in the boat or the cockpit. Easy to clean, easy to maintain, a fun, strong beast of a boat to run. This Canyon 306 is paired with Yamaha's V8 four strokes. These big engines push this boat as big and heavy as it is, over 55 miles an hour. It runs well, it cruises at 30 very comfortably in any sea, and the 290 gallons of fuel give you plenty of range. The Canyon 306 has a big roomy cockpit for when you get really busy offshore. Six built-in rod holders to the gunnels, in the gunnels, uh, rod, rod storage underneath the gunnels, lockable rod storage forward where you can lock six rods away when you're finished with your day. If you move to the back of the boat, you'll find a 304 quart fish box, plenty long for that big catch you'll find a 47 gallon live well, recirculating with full column distribution, keeps that bait alive if you're live bait fishing. You'll find a freshwater sink, so you can, you can clean rigs, you can clean your hands, you can clean your sunglasses, whatever. When you get out in salt water, you know as well as I do, things get messy and hopefully bloody, and you got a sink to clean that up. Rod holders built into the consult lean bar, handrails built into the seating, and I know you're going to be out there gaffing something one day, so there's tow rails to hold, hold you in the boat as you lower that gaff over the side to bring that big fish in. In the cockpit of the 306, there's, there's things to help you relax and enjoy or set up or end your day as well. And when I talk about that, I'm talking about seating, seating in the stern of the boat, best seat in the house right here, plenty of room for two people. On your way out, here's your tackle boxes. You can bring your tackle out, start tying rigs, whatever you want to do, knives and pliers right here, or you can just relax and enjoy the ride. There are plenty of things to talk about at the helm of the Canyon 306, and I'll talk about storage in a few places to start. Storage between the seats, storage in the footrest, storage overhead in, in the netting in the hardtop where you can put life jackets and throw cushions and plenty of things that you need at your fingertips and need to keep them accessible, but don't often use them maybe, and they take up space. So up there, they're out of your way, so you have more room down inside your boat. You have cup holders, three of them right here at the console. The most Fun thing to talk about when you talk about storage here is the storage of electronics though. This is something that we've done incorporated on a lot of our boats is storage for electronics. And notice how the box at the touch of a button just raises up out of the dash. In the box, you can mount your electronics there. You can see them. You can change the angle for the best viewing visibility, good visibility to your gauges, still good visibility forward. And then that's expensive equipment. I don't know how much you spend, but people spend a lot of money for electronics. And at the push of a button, down they go, out of the way, out of sight, so that they're out of the weather and prying eyes that you may not want to know what you have down in there, uh, do not get to see them. Then if you come to the helm and sit, ergonomics are good, good accessibility to the shifter, to the wheel. This has a standard tilt wheel so you can adjust the wheel to your standing or seated position. Easy access to the switches. Horn is always on the end and red on a Grady White switch panel and right beside it is always the windshield wiper switch. That way you can, do, you can find the horn, find the wiper without having to take your eyes off what's going on ahead of you to access them. The inside of the lockable console is big and roomy with a marine head, holding tank, drawers, netted storage, and a freshwater sink. When you own a fantastic boat like the Canyon 306, you want to be able to use all of it. And you certainly can on, the, on this boat. Beginning with the netted storage overhead, seating on the front of the console, Additional seating here in the, in the bow of the boat where you can just, if, you, if you're not fishing, sit back, relax, and enjoy the day. Watch the kids swimming. Bring your family up here for a meal. If you're anchoring up, you can walk all the way forward easily. Open the anchor locker. The windlass and anchor are below decks. They go out through an anchor chute in the hull. There's windlass controls here at the bow if you want to use those. 
or there at the helm, there's more windlass controls for the captain if he needs that. Notice that we do have a flush deck up here with flush mount cleats and a fl uh, flush lighting so that if you're fishing off the, off the bow of the boat, there's no obstructions there. The handrails are all recessed. And then when you're catching those fish and you open up the box, you have a 150 quart fish box on each side, insulated and overboard draining. Again, no pumps, it's all self bailing. Well, we've talked about a lot of well thought out features on the Canyon 306, but there's just no time to cover them all here. So I would encourage you to go to the Grady White website at gradywhite.com or even better, go to your dealer, get a test ride and you'll see for yourself what a beefy boat this is, how well it runs, how safe it is, how many features are built in for you and your family to enjoy. And when you do all that, I am quite confident I will see you out there on your Canyon 306.